Hello, hey, it's Tracy. How are you? How is quarantining going? So I was thinking about this and I had this t-shirt and it says I can and I will and as I was sitting there doing nothing um, I thought why don't I put out a challenge so it's April 1st April Fool's Day but this is no joke uh, we are quarantined at least for the next 30 days hopefully after that we'll be able to resume somewhat of a normal life but I thought why don't I have a 30 day I can and I will challenge so for the next 30 days I have things to challenge you and I hope that after this you can tell me other things that can be part of the challenge that you you'll challenge yourself to but I call this I can and I will quarantine version 30 day challenge okay so I randomly just sat there and this did not take me long and wrote down 30 things that you can do for this challenge so and you start with I can and I will before each challenge so number one I can and I will watch Tiger King I mean come on if you haven't watched it yet what are you doing with your quarantine life I mean seriously if you do not know who Carol Baskins is or Joe Exotic um, then I don't know if we can be friends well we'd really have nothing to talk about right now so that's your first I can and I will I can and I will two, change my clothes at least twice a week and my underwear every single day be honest some of you and I'm not not speaking for myself but haven't changed for a week maybe two and does it really matter because who do you see anyway but it's very important to change your clothes and daily keep up with changing your underwear Two, I can and I will take a shower and keep up with my personal hygiene again something that can kind of slide and go to the wayside if you're stuck inside and aren't gonna see anybody and then when you do see people you maybe have a hat on or a mask and gloves and nobody can see you anyway so make sure that you keep up with your personal hygiene let alone it just feels good to take a shower and you know put deodorant on and if you're quarantined with someone else I'm quarantined alone right now so nobody here but the cat would notice but it's for myself uh, four I can and I will take this seriously stay home and keep a six foot distance from anyone that you run into uh, I go for daily walks two one two three mostly three a day and um, I there was a group of boys and there was like a group of seven of them like high schoolers and they were not keeping a six foot distance they were smooshed together walking down the sidewalk um, so please that just defeats the purpose of why we're all staying in and quarantining if not everybody adheres to this so you can and you will do that please please uh, five keep a daily schedule so it really helps because it can get depressing it's nice at first that you can sleep in you sleep till 10 o'clock you sleep till 12 o'clock whatever it's like vacation but then it gets to a point where you know if you aren't doing something then you can get depressed and uh, you know they say energy begets energy so if you're not doing anything then you're just gonna be more tired and just want to sit around but uh, sticking to a daily schedule like try and get up around the same time um, and and do things kind of like in order that you know have something to do every day there are things you want to get done so it's really important to maybe wake up and go to bed around the same time each and every day uh, six I can and I will get up get dressed and get prepared for the day so every day my normal schedule is I'm up 
between 5 and 6 a.m., depending on what I have going on that day. And for the first couple days, I kind of slept in. And then now I get up between six and seven instead of five or six. And I, you know, get up, I get dressed, I make my bed, put my makeup on, I do my hair. I mean, you know, it's a five minute deal. But I just get prepared for the day. So I get up and I feel like I want to do something. I make my coffee, you know, I start my day like I normally start my day. And then I have a schedule of things to do. Usually the first thing I do is go for a walk. Um, but I get up and like I said, I make my bed and I do the normal things that I used to do in the morning. I just have a different routine now. So that helps a lot. Uh, seven, I can and I will make my bed and keep things tidy around my house. So if you're sitting in chaos, it's already people have anxiety just from everything that's going on and that is understandable but if you have chaos around you or you know there's piles of things if you saw my um, I cleaned my closet the other day um, I tell you what I, I clean my basement I clean my closet I cleaned another closet um, next up is the garage I feel so much better and less anxiety there's there's no anxiety on top of the anxiety for this um, that I'm really dealing with right now. So that makes me feel good. So, um, you know, get up and make your bed and keep things tidy. Do the dishes. Do those things so you, it doesn't make you more anxiety ridden than we already are. Uh, I can and I will make a daily list of things that I would like to get done. So um, I have this. And it's a dry erase board, if you can see, to do. And I have cleaned the basement. And I already did that, so I can take that off. But I'll write something else on there. And I have a list of things I want to get done. And uh, that day, at least. And I don't have to get all of them done. But even being able to erase like some of them makes me feel just that much better. OK, I'm going to get a little faster here. I can and I will get some form of exercise every day. All you have to do is walk outside of your house and if you walk by somebody just be sure to step away at least six feet from I can and I will reach out to others you can FaceTime you can zoom you can just talk to other people it's really important to keep connections during this time because we are isolated and if you're isolated with other people I'm by myself uh, sometimes maybe you need other people to be talking to or reaching out to. 11, I can and I will, if I'm feeling low or stressed out, talk to someone that I trust. Again, this is a very anxious time. People, it can cause, you know, depression or feeling bad or feeling high anxiety or, you know, just triggering things. And so if that's happening to you, reach out to somebody that you trust, that you know that you can confide in or you know is gonna lift your spirits. Um, it can really make a difference, okay? I can and I will be grateful this didn't happen between October and February because if it did, it would be too cold to do anything and it would be dark. So that leads to the next one. Be grateful this happened after daylight savings time because if it didn't, we would wake up in the dark and we would be, well, we usually get off work and it's still dark, but it would be even more depressing and anxiety ridden if it was before spring daylight savings time came around. Uh, I can and I will be grateful that it's nice enough to get out a lot of days and go for a walk and get fresh air. Get up, get out, and get fresh air. All you need are a pair of shoes, walk out that door, and just walk around the block, walk somewhere. Uh, I can and I will never take for granted human touch because a lot of us have nobody to touch now, um, have human contact. Thank God my cat is here, I love my cat not the same as human contact. I can and I will never take for granted my ability to work and make a living. Boy, that has really come into play. Like I said, I have five jobs and all my jobs have been closed now. So I will never take that for granted. I can and I will start a savings account to make sure I'm prepared for future instances, even if it's just a small amount a month. 
You think that it takes a lot to save money, but if you just saved like $10 a month, years down the road, you will have a lot saved and it'll seem like nothing. $10, $25 here and there that you won't miss can make a big difference down the road. I can and I will make sure my toilet paper and paper towels are always stocked up. Boy, do we know that now. Who thought that that would be so um, such a thing? And I was thinking, you know in the history books how we read about you know the depression time and stuff where they waited in line for loaves of bread and everything? Well, future generations are gonna look back and read in their books that we were scrambling for toilet paper. Crazy. I can and I will start to work my way to become debt free. You can look it up, you can watch YouTube channels, you can do different things, you can sit down, you can make a plan, um, but there's ways that you can work towards. I can and I will, not, I can and I will not take my freedom for granted because we're stuck in our houses and isolated. I can and I will take my, self, my health seriously. Again, nothing to fool with. I can and I will start to incorporate more exercise and healthy, healthy eating habits. I can and I will spend more face-to-face -face time with loved ones. I can and I will spend less time on the computer or on the phone or any type of screen. I can and I will take more walks without any music, phones, or distractions and just notice, appreciate, and listen to nature. I just took a walk and I walked by this little pond that's over by my house. Like you know where that is. That's over there. And um, there were all these... I don't know if they were frogs or crickets or what kind of animals they were, but they were all making these noises. And um, I just sat there and listened to them. And I wouldn't have noticed that had I had my headphones on or been distracted. And I stopped to just listen. And I thought to, you know, the other parts of the world around us keep going on as normal. They don't know. The difference of what's happening to us and uh, so it's nice to just be able to appreciate that there's something still going on that isn't affected by what we're going through. I can and I will do more acts of kindness. Speaks for itself. We need that especially now. I can and I will spend my precious time with only those that lift me up. It just kind of you know when you have no contact just realize when you do have contact or can again that you don't want to waste time because we're locked up now don't waste that time that we will have um, on people who you know bring you down I can and I will speak kinder I can and I will love more and 30 I can and I will give more hugs so hopefully you accept this challenge and uh, let me know uh, if there's other things that you'll be challenging yourself to in the I can and I will 30 day challenge for April. So, okay. Well, I hope you found this enjoyable and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. Stay safe, be kind, and stay six feet away from anyone if you go out. But other than that, stay home. Thanks.